The Bellman Stovetop Espresso Steamer is an all-in-one brewing device that's going to make espresso strength coffee and also steam silky smooth milk. This makes it possible to make delicious lattes wherever you want. Let's take a look now and see how. Hi everyone, it's Josh from Alternative Brewing. The Bellman Stovetop Espresso and Steamer is that ideal coffee brewing device for anyone who enjoys drinking good coffee wherever you are. And using it is simple. I've discovered it's the closest method of brewing actual espresso at the fraction of the cost of an espresso machine or other manual espresso makers. The setup for brewing coffee is similar to a mocha pot or stovetop coffee brewer with some added features, like the pressure valve, and this helps you know when to brew and steam with. You're looking to keep the pressure at around two to three bars whilst brewing. And there's also a flow control tap to control your flow whilst brewing. The other highlight to the Bellman Stovetop Espresso and Steamer is the steam wand with a two hole steam tip. I've had no trouble getting that rich velvety textured milk easily when steaming with this. You can choose to brew a lot of coffee or a little using the gauge inside the unit. There is a three, six and nine mark and each one of these represents a volume of brew you'll produce. You'll find these volumes also in the description below. You can still fill it up anywhere between those numbers, but I find they're good gauges. Using the Bellman filter basket, you can achieve three different doses. A full basket is around 50 grams of ground coffee. With the basket reducer provided, having it face upwards, you'll be able to brew with around 30 grams and facing down will let you brew with 15 grams and these doses will correspond to each of the water gauges in the unit. Taking into account your brew ratio of water to coffee is really important here. This will either make your coffee strong and ideal for adding milk, or coffee that's more drinkable straight black. The Bellman can be used on ceramic, electrical, gas, and even induction stovetops that are compatible with 304 grade stainless steel. Which is what the Bellman is made out of and this makes it built to last and easy to keep clean too. To get started using the Bellman, you first want to decide how much coffee you want to make. In the description below, I've added some details in recipes you can play with. I'm going to demonstrate using the most amount of coffee you can with the Bellman, with the least amount of water. And this is going to resemble the closest thing to espresso. So let's begin. Grind your coffee down nice and fine, like espresso grind. It works best there. If your grind is too coarse, then your brews will resemble something more like a stove top uh, and will steam out too quick. Consider grinding finer to help you slow your brew. I've dosed out 50 grams and this will fill the basket full. And I'm throwing my finger over the top of the hole of the basket to make dosing easier. Get the grinds to settle and then tamp, giving it a nice honest tamp. Nothing too hard, but enough to compact it down. At this point, you can use the paper filter uh, and that will help the extraction and keep your brew clean. These paper filters are included in the box. I'm using hot water to get brewing on the stove quicker. I'm filling it up just below the three mark and that's gonna give me around 150 mils of brewed coffee at the end. Then place the coffee basket on top. Place the brew tap on, making sure that it's screwed down nice and tight. And having it face away from the handle here will make things a little bit easier later on for brewing. Place it on the stove on a medium heat and watch the pressure begin to build. Making sure the taps are closed, otherwise the pressure won't increase. At two, two and a half bars pressure, place a cup under the brew tap and open the valve gently. Uh, you don't want the unit to reach over four bars of pressure and if it looks like it will, remove it straight away from the heat. You should now hear water begin to pass through the bed of coffee as you begin brewing. It will normally take 10 to 15 seconds or more for the water to pass through the coffee and begin flowing. So what you want to do is keep the Bellman on the stove and slowly open the tap until you get a nice steady stream of espresso coming out. No more, and you'll get a good couple of espresso shots from it. And when your brew begins to bubble or steam out, then you've reached the bottom of your water gauge. The water will have risen up in the Bellman during brewing. And if you don't end up using all the water, you'll discover some of that brewed coffee will have fallen back down into the reservoir as it cools. It's not a major concern, but keep that in mind for next time and maybe just reduce your water level slightly. Once you have brewed your shots with the Bellman, you can add water to them for an Americano or a long back. Or using the steam wand, you're gonna easily be able to make lattes, cappuccinos and flat whites. So let's make some lattes now. Remove the Bellman off the stove and give it a quick purge to remove that super hot wet steam. This will ruin your milk. We're really going for that nice steady dry steam. That's why we purge. Make sure you get the milk to spin in a circular motion. This will assist in making that nice velvety smooth textured milk. At around 60 degrees, your milk is done 
and when you're finished, make sure you wipe down and purge the steam wand after you use it. To get good at latte art takes a lot of practice and perseverance, but with the Bellman, so long as it's kept at above one bar of pressure, you can be steaming milk all day, as good as any cafe. But once you're done, you'll have a delicious latte to enjoy. The Bellman Stovetop Espresso and Steamer is a great consideration for that all-in-one espresso and steamer that have at home, and most definitely the perfect camping brewer. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If so, hit like. And uh, subscribe, stay watching. We're bringing out videos like this each week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.